Hello everyone, welcome back to another Honkai Impact 3rd video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new article that Honkai just released uh, about a day ago or yesterday. And it's just talking about the uh, 6.5 story chapter 36 hailing from Nagazora. So we're going to be going over the article and see um, basically what the story is and just get right into it so if you guys enjoyed the video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more honkai impact 3 content without further ado let's get right into it all right guys so taking a look at the article this is a pretty small article that i've read right now i'm just going to cover it uh, as fast as i can so i just don't really want to waste your time but um the basically this uh, story will take place after part one as you guys uh have known part one just ended of honkai and back third and just gonna there's basically gonna continue the story it's gonna be part 1.5 called dance of life and death which is coming soon in the next update this is gonna be story chapter 36 um called hailing from nagazora and it will be available with a new game mode called desolate city detective so basically this story will obviously take place in nagazora and will basically have a lot of rewards that you can get especially quicksand valkyrie valkyrie quicksand fragments crystals and ancient willpowers and time scroll passes and also obviously there's going to be more uh stuff stuff like coins face shifter and stuff like that which is pretty cool i think um selling out the shop is really really important especially in this one because you're gonna have a lot of a lot of rewards so make sure to, to sell out the shop as soon as you can uh by just participating in the event and getting as, as many resources as you can especially for free to play players so yeah which is pretty pretty cool i really really like uh, where they're going for it's the usual honkai stuff play the story chapter play the event in the story and then get as many rewards as you can so obviously as i said before it's gonna take place in nagazora because it's called hailing from nagazora and will take place with Sili and sasana where you explore the city so i guess it's gonna be, they're not gonna be really explaining what the story is as of right now but we only know that we're gonna be playing in Nagazora as an open world, which is pretty pretty cool. Um, but also, I think it's open world. I'm not sure, but it sounds like an open world because it says we're gonna explore Nagazora. So I'm assuming it's gonna be open world. But at the same time, the game is a hack and slash game, so it's not gonna be really open world. But we're gonna see um, later in the update if it's gonna be open world or not. But other than that, there's gonna be a game mode ca called Desolate City Detective, which consists of basically three stages of field training and one stage of routine check. So field training will give you special skills once you once you finish them, that will help you basically challenge the routine check. And once you finish the routine check, there's gonna be a number of times, obviously, you're gonna unlock new field training, which gives you more skill. So there's going to be two routine check one is called routine check alpha which reduces the hit hit count hp of central energy concentrated to zero so it drops energy it orbs okay so it's an sp regen and then once it has this you can use it as active skill which is pretty cool and deal massive damage and then routine check b which is another challenge and you can that you can access once you finish routine check alpha which is uh, in routine check uh, beta the the more debuffs an enemy has the more physical and amount of damage it takes once enhanced skills are unlocked using different active skills also inflict different debuffs with extra effects and damage so that's pretty much it um usually this is goes really really well with sasana because she does bleeding damage so you want to you want to play sasana in this um in this game mode as soon as you can because she inflicts so much debuff for no reason but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Honkai Impact 3 content. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.